Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Ulta haul. So I have been to Ulta probably three different times over the past month. So this is a collective haul. I didn't just buy all this at once. Um, so I thought I would just pile it all together, show you guys what I got. And I have been trying some of them so I can kind of tell you which ones are kind of like a hit or a miss so far. But if you'd like to see that video, just stay tuned. Okay, so I am going to start off with foundation. Um, I picked up the IT Cosmetics. Your Skin But Better CC Cream. It's a full coverage cream. It's got um, anti-aging hydrating serum and a um, SPF of 50. So I got two of them. I didn't know which shade to get, so I got Fair Light and Light. I kind of just mixed the two. They don't have a shade range in between these two colors, so mixing the two of them is actually my perfect color. Is it expensive to buy both of these? Yes. So I might try to opt for something different, um, just because they don't have the right shade, and this is... $80 for two of these and I'm not doing that so I do love it though um it does have a full coverage for a CC cream normally the CC creams I've tried before are very lightweight but this is full coverage and I love it just need a different shade so it is a 10 out of 10 minus the shade range okay so next I got the it cosmetic it cosmetics bye bye redness neutralizing correcting cream these actually both go under your makeup. Um, I got two different shades, but they go under and they kind of correct the redness under the, the like foundation to kind of just even out the skin tone, and I love these. These are awesome. Um, definitely worth it. They have anti-aging um, collagen and hyaluronic acid in them, so definitely try these out because they are a uh, must, must have. I did get one more thing from IT Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer it looks like that this stuff you guys is awesome it is literally waterproof it's a little thicker which I like because um, I need the coverage but it is a small tube only complaint is it's super tiny so that will be gone um, within a month but I did get the shade light neutral um, I'm, it's just very hydrating. It's uh, probably one of my top five concealers I've ever tried, but yeah. Okay, next up I got two things from Benefit. I got the Mini Hula Bronzer. I've never tried this before, so I thought I would get the Mini. It is super hyped up, um, but I've never tried it. It's supposed to be like the most universal bronzer color for every skin tone, so I will see. So I got the little Mini Hula, and then I got the... Um, mini Krista blush. I also have never tried this either, but I just figured to try them, see if I like it. I might probably end up buying the full size of the bronzer because it's super hyped up, and that's obviously for a reason. Okay, so next up I got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. This is also probably one of the most hyped up um, bronzers along with the Hoola. So I figured I would try it out too. They didn't have a mini size, so I had to get the full full size. But it is supposed to be a bronzer for all shade ranges. And so far, I like it. And plus it smells like chocolate, so win-win. Oh, okay. So I have been seeing this perfume all over TikTok. It is the YSL Libre Perfume. It has been so hyped up, so I figured I would hop on the bandwagon and just kind of try it to see if I like it. It's got like a more mature sexy that girl type um vibe to it which I totally am down for I have sprayed this and my husband did compliment it he said oh my god you smell so good and I'm like why sell Libre so definitely try it out if you're just looking for something new and it's hyped up there's a reason okay so the next thing I got was the Anastasia dip brow gel um after I've shaped out my um brows with the pencil I go in with the gel it looks like this it just kind of has a little spoolie and you just kind of go over your brow hairs and it kind of keeps it in place normally people get a clear brow gel but I like the um, tinted ones because it just kind of gives it more color and my eyebrows are very sparse sparse whatever I have none so the more that I can make it look like I do the better okay next up is the Lancome tint idol ultra wear all over concealer I did get the wrong shade. It's a little too dark. This is 330. I need something more in the 2 range. 
but so far I did try it just to kind of see the consistency to see if I wanted to take it back or get a different color obsessed this is also a very hydrating concealer and you do get a lot for your money unlike the it cosmetics one but so far I like this just need a different shade okay and then I got some clearance palettes Ulta has like a clearance section and in there was all of these palettes kind of clearance so I grabbed them um, I got a morphe Disney palette now some of these are some crazy colors I just figured for the price I would grab them if I ever want to do some crazy like looks which I want to start doing makeup looks on my channel I just got this because it had a bunch of fun colors I just think it's really cute. So I got this one. Let's see. I got a Morphe 35R. Now this is more neutral toned. These are more colors I would use like every single day. They just look like that. Lots of browns. Lots of neutrals. I do love this because this whole side is gold shimmers. I don't know if you can see it. This one I'm obsessed with. Okay. And then I got the Morphe Avani collab palette I don't know who she is do love her palette though so it looks like this and this one comes with the mirror which I like but there's also such some fun colors like I said I want to start doing some really fun looks on my channel so I mean for the price why not Nikita dragon was on clearance um, this palette's really cute too doesn't have a mirror though but it looks like this lots of fun colors like I mean I don't know. Okay, and the last one was the Morphe 35D Desert Rose Palette. I mean, will I really use all of these colors? Probably not. Will it be fun to make makeup looks? Yes, and that's the point. So it looks like this, which is super cute with a little flower, and just some more fun colors. A lot of these do have neutral colors that you can use daily, and then they just add in some like fun poppy colors, so I love. I think they're so cute. So, oh, one more thing, last thing, um, the Clinique Even Better Radical Dark Spot Corrector, I grabbed this because after I was pregnant, I got these three dark spots and they will not go away. It's called melasma, it's caused from pregnancy, it's a whole thing, um, so I'm trying to get rid of them with dark spot correctors if I can. If not, I'm going to have to get them lasered off, which I don't mind, but I was just going to see if I could try um, something a little bit less invasive first, but so far it's kind of working, kind of not, so we'll probably have to laser it off, which is fine. Okay guys, so that completes my entire Ulta haul. Um, comment below if you've tried any of these products. Um, if you have, which ones are your favorite? Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and turn off the notification bell so you can get alerted anytime I upload a video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.